How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to Why Are You Alive? Life, Energy, and ATP by In A Nutshell. All right, so I feel like it's been a really, really hot minute since I've reacted to a In A Nutshell video, but uh, I looked and I pretty sure I reacted to the last one he came out with. He was just a little slow, but I do understand it's like a team of people working on these videos and stuff like that, and he's just the narrator, but I, I say the channel is he just because he is the narrator, so he has like the... He's the face, I want to say, or the voice of this channel. But uh, I do understand that it's like a group of people, like an organization working together to make these. Like, it's not just one man doing the animation and the research and stuff like that. Like, that would be ridiculous. That'd be cool, but that'd be ridiculous. But uh, I wanted to let y'all guys know, I'm just going to like talk more normal, if that makes any sense. Like, pitch-wise, just because the microphone is like, literally, I'm touching it. So, uh, microphone's super, super close, and I don't want to, like, blow y'all guys' eardrums, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little different. Hopefully I do this from now on, because, I don't know, I don't like blowing people's eardrums off, I guess, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to be more natural, because used to, like, the microphone was, like, way over there, and I had to shout just to, for it to pick it up, and then I had to go in the editing software and enhance the audio from there so hopefully this this will be better but I am babbling I'm super excited to see this like every other in a nutshell video so without any further ado here is why are you alive at this very second you are on a narrow ledge between life and death you probably don't feel it but there's an incredible amount of oh, activity that's awesome. going on inside you and this activity can never stop oh Picture yourself Slinky. as in Slinky falling down an escalator moving upwards. The falling oh, okay. part represents the self-replicating processes of your cells. The escalator represents the laws of physics nice. driving you forwards. To be alive is to be in motion but never arriving anywhere. If you reach the top of the escalator, there's no more falling possible and you are dead, dead? forever. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhat unsettlingly, the universe wants you to reach the top. How do you avoid that? And why are you alive? I don't know. Hopefully you find... You help me find out... He had a slinky. Notice the monkey has different stuff, like, going with the video. All life is based on the cell. A cell is a piece of the dead universe that separated itself from the rest so it could do its own thing for a while. That alone is when amazing. When this separation breaks down, it dies and joins the rest of the dead universe again. Unfortunately, the Circle universe would like for life to be done with doing its own thing. For so some please, reason, it's just not die. a fan of exciting things, but tries to be uh, as boring as possible. Oh, come on, we universe. We call this principle entropy, and it's a fundamental rule of our universe. It's pretty complicated and counterintuitive, so we'll explain it in detail in another video. Oh, coming soon. For now, soon. all you need to know is living things are inherently exciting. Yeah. A cell is filled yeah, up obviously. with millions of proteins and millions more simpler molecules like water. Thousands of complex self-replicating processes are happening up to hundreds of thousands of times every second. Oh, this is cool. To stay alive and exciting, it has to constantly work to keep itself from achieving entropy and becoming boring and dead. The cell has to maintain the separation from the rest of the universe. It's doing this, for example, by keeping the concentration of certain molecules different on the inside and the outside by actively pumping out excess molecules. Okay. To do stuff like this, a cell needs energy. Lots of energy. Energy is the ability of things in the universe to do work, to move or manipulate a thing, to create change. <laughs> this ability cannot be created or destroyed. The set amount of energy in the universe will never change. We don't know why. It just is that way. So billions energy of years can neither be one of the created most crucial or destroyed. challenges for the first living beings was to get usable energy. We don't know a lot about the first cells, except that they got their energy from simple chemical reactions, and they found the ultimate energy the transfer Mario system, level. the energetic building block of life. The molecule adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. There it is. <laughs> its structure makes 
it uniquely good at accepting and releasing energy. When a cell needs energy, for example, to pump out molecules or to repair a broken micromachine, it can break down ATP and oh. use the chemical energy to do work and create change. Neat. This is why Thanks. living beings are able to do stuff. We don't know when or how exactly the first ATP molecule was made on Earth, but every living thing we know uses ATP or something very similar to keep its internal machinery running. Dang! It's crucial for almost every process plants, fungi, bacteria and animals need to survive. Without okay, ATP, that's interesting. no life on Earth. Possibly anywhere. While breaking down I didn't know anything about ATP. is nice and all, early <clears throat> life did miss out on the greatest available source of energy, the sun. Yes! The we sun all Superman? <laughs> merges atoms and radiates photons away that carry energy into the solar system. But this Said energy lots of is energy. raw and indigestible. It needs to be refined. After hundreds of millions of years of evolution, finally, a cell figured out how to eat the sun. It absorbed that just sounds amazing. and converted much of it into neat little chemical packages that it could use to stay alive. We oh, this call is this really cool. Photosynthesis. That, 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 that. Photons that Nailed are wobbly it. <laughs> with electromagnetic energy and use a part of this energy to merge and combine different molecules together. Highly the electromagnetic simplified. energy I cannot is talk to into I'm apolo I apologize. energy stored in the ATP molecule. This process became even better as some cells learned to create better chemical packages. Glucose. Or Glucose. Sugar. Okay. Easy to break down. See, I know this stuff. And pretty tasty. I just didn't know about the ATP thing. This is so convenient that some cells decided that instead of doing all that pesky photosynthesis work themselves, they would just Nani? swallow <laughs> other cells that did and take their glucose and Oh, ATP. that's amazing. This is widely considered one of the biggest anime betrayals in evolutionary history. Dirty. And so things went on. Photosynthesizing cells could mostly harness energy at their surfaces, which limited their maximum energy production, which limited their evolutionary avenues somewhat. Uh, okay. So time passed. Some cells made sugar, others ate them. Evolution Level did up. its thing, but overall things stayed pretty much the same for hundreds of millions of years. Until one day, a cell ate another and did not kill it. Instead, they became one cell. Oh, Nothing had okay. changed that day, but Earth would be different forever. Hello? This cell became Where the ancestor I? of all animals on this planet. Blue whales, amoeba, oh. dinosaurs, jellyfish, pink fairy armadillos, and sun decalogos. And of course, you. Yeah. <laughs> all can trace back their existence to this moment. Really? Is that Patrick Starr from Swindle? The two living beings is so important because when those two cells became Sail one, evolving? they became way more powerful. The formerly independent cell in the inside could stop trying to survive. It could concentrate on one thing, make ATP. It became the powerhouse of the cell, the first mitochondria. This is awesome. The host cell's job became to ensure survival in the dangerous world and provide the mitochondria with food. So it's... Kind of like a parasite, basically reverse but photosynthesis helping. in a similarly complex process. They take sugar molecules that we got from eating other living things, combust them with oxygen and precursor molecules to make new energy-rich ATP molecules. Hey, can I call ATP this Kirby? This process works like me a Kirby. tiny furnace and spits out waste products like CO2, water, and a little bit of kinetic energy that you experience as body heat. This first division of I've labor, never heard about this before. This is very more interesting. Energy available than any cell before, which meant more possibilities for evolution to enable more complex cells. At some point, these cells began to form small groups or communities, which led to multicellular life and finally to you. Today, you are a pile of trillions of cells, each filled with dozens, if not hundreds, of little machines. I like the imagery of all like, the different cells and stuff. It's really alive. cool. If this process is interrupted, even for a few minutes, you Oh die. no! But if I just got over that scene in Infinity War. Would it be a good idea to store ATP, like we store sugar in our fat cells, so we don't die if we stop breathing for a while? If life has solved so many problems to make you live today, what's up with the dumb That is creepy. Thing? 
Even simple bacteria like E. coli make about 50 times their body weight in ATP for every cell division. Your trillions of cells need a lot of ATP to keep you around. Every day, your body produces and converts about 90 million billion billion molecules of ATP. Fun! About your own body weight. Isn't it a trillion though? You After need that? a whole person's worth of ATP just to make it through a single day. Can you imagine having like an Even exact twin just made out of this ATP? Just made out of this ATP. Is basically impossible. An ATP molecule is really good for shifting energy around quickly, but it's terrible for storage oh. since it has only 1% of a glucose molecule's energy at three times its mass. Dang! So okay. ATP is constantly produced and used up fairly quickly. This was the short and simplified story of the molecule that allows Very you short to be and different simplified. from the dead universe and to be the slinky on the escalator. Yeah, slinky! It is a weird story. There is this molecule bit. you I need really to liked survive it, at all times. You need it to keep moving because even a short break brings your Slinky We're in to this together, stop. Slinky. And you need to make it yourself. It's like driving a car at full speed while producing fuel in the trunk with junk that you pick up from the side of the road. Okay. As far as we know, this all began billions of years ago when tiny parts of the dead See, universe that's the thing. As far as we know. became something else for a moment. It could keep itself going. It could grow. That moment set the Slinky in motion, and it's been going ever since. You go, Slinky. From the very first cells all because of you. <laughs> to you watching this now. At some point, you will merge with the rest of the dead universe again. Maybe you'll tell its stories about your adventures. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm kind of underwhelming. But before you find out, you get to do what life does best. Hey, buddy. Making a dead universe Supreme Slinky. much more interesting. If you are currently bored for whatever reason, and you want to make your life right, more for interesting, whatever reason, we've got something for you. We partnered with Skillshare, an online learning community that offers thousands of classes for all skill levels on tons of creative skills like illustration, animation, animation? cooking, creative writing. I can or finally film animate video. stuff. Learning something while creating stuff for yourself is pretty fun and fulfilling. Yeah, it is. If you want to learn animation, we made a few Skillshare classes where we explained how we animated scenes from our videos, oh with my video God. lessons and hands-on projects. Oh my God. You can get unlimited access to all classes for less than $10 a month. Ah! <laughs> And the first Start freaking out about it. Start viewers to click the link in the description <clears throat> will get a two-month free trial. What? And if you're just getting started, for beginners who want to dip a toe into illustrations similar to ours, we recommend Vector Illustration Ooh. using creative constraints to find your style by that is Rick cool. Berkelsman. Just try what? something to Berkelsman? improve your skills and at the same time, fight the boredom of being stuck inside. If you want to Thank get you. creative with new skills and Thought support Kurzgesagt, give it support a try. Us. Nourish your brain. Okay, now it's over. <laughs> All right, I love how I said I wasn't going to shout, but I'm pretty sure I shouted, like, probably the last half of that video, <laughs> but it's okay, right? It's okay. Your ears aren't that bleeding that bad, are they? But yeah, this, this was a very, very awesome video. I'm not going to, like, <clears throat> I'm not going to pretend that I got all of it just with one sitting of this video because I didn't. Like, I had no idea about this ATP cell thing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, up until I just saw this video and it's very very intriguing to me. I'm probably gonna do like a little bit of research on my own just to like Better process what I just saw because like uh, the announcer said I don't even know his name like this video said uh, What's it called? It was the very very simplified and short version of it So I think it'd be very very interesting to like go down the rabbit hole and like do some research about it and stuff because I find that very fascinating like the very first like cell that just so happened to be the cause of Literally everything else after it like that's really really cool to me and very very exciting stuff but of course I'm like a science nerd love the subject hate the class, but Seems very, very cool. I really like this. And just the video itself. I love the video itself. I mean, oh, it's a, in a nutshell video. I shouldn't have to keep saying that in every video, but I, I do anyway. I don't know why, but I guess just to reassure y'all guys and the new people. New people might not have heard it yet, but 
I really, really enjoyed this video. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I will see y'all in the next episode. Later days.